guys, it's Curly Proverbs and I'm going to be coming at you today with a review on the Camille Rose Naturals line. If you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you would have seen me post a picture of the Camille Rose Naturals line and quite a few of you said that you'd be interested in me doing a review. So here it is. Um, oh, and one thing I wanted to comment on was quite a few people had actually said to me that they didn't know Camille Rose Naturals is actually available here in the UK. I did actually pick up my Curl Love Moisture Milk from Beauty by Zara. I'll leave her uh, website and details below so you can check that out. But yeah, it is available here in the UK. Hey! Uh, so the first time I actually heard about this range was a conversation that I had with Fro Girl Ginny. It's like first or second time I, I had uh, got the chance to hang out with her. And I was actually interviewing her for um, that curl next door and it was the first take that we had. I don't think this, I don't know if this actually made it into the final interview, which I will link here if you want to check it out. But I was like, girl, what is your go-to product? What is deeply moisturizing? And she was like, Camille Rose Naturals all the way. And so I was like, okay, I need to check them out at some point and, um, and see what they're saying. And she specifically talked to me about their butters. So why not start with that? So here I have the Almond Jai Twisting um, Butter. I don't know if it's gonna focus, of course not. Um, so here I have the Almond Jai Twisting Butter and it has sweet almond milk and honey and if I should describe what it smells like. Oh, right, okay. It has a smell of frosting, so like you know when you have like butter and icing and you kind of whipped it together that kind of smell Ooh, that's exactly what it smells like it's not too heavy of a consistency it's got a very creamy kind of texture and these are the ingredients first ingredient is um deionized water which i love okay if you've got like the first or second or even third ingredient is water normally it's going to be quite hydrating for your hair which is going to make it feel really really soft uh, then the next ingredient is um, BTMS, then citral alcohol, then almond milk, then almond oil, pumpkin seed oil, sesame seed oil, jojoba oil, bran, macadamia seed oil, olive oil, uh, fruit oil, cannabis seed oil, just saying. <laughs> Almost Fulva Bark Extract, which is Slippery Elm. You guys know that's amazing for detangling. I've actually got a video on how to make your own detangler using Slippery Elm. So it's definitely one of my favorite ingredients. Castor Seed Oil, Aloe, aloe Leaf Juice, Honey, Chamomile, um, Green Tea Leaf Extract, uh, Sorbic Acid, Scent, and she put in brackets at the end, love, okay? So you've heard the ingredients, yeah, top top ingredients really no cutting corners there and smells absolutely incredible you will hopefully know that castor oil is renowned for actually stimulating hair growth there have been studies that have shown that uh, on, and the testimonies of, of hundreds of people that have shown that the application of castor seed oil to the scalp actually increases hair growth some people have seen three times their normal hair growth uh, some people have seen five times their normal hair growth applying this um, people who've had alopecia balding patches, thinning hair when they've had uh, hair loss postpartum have all seen very positive results using castor oil. Very, very good testimonials. It's very rare, actually, very rare. I can only ever think of one person um, that I've ever come across who said that she didn't really benefit from castor oil. So really glad that's in there. So also castor oil actually balances scalp pH. And then you've got in here, you've got jojoba oil, which you may know is the most similar oil to the oil that we naturally produce on our skin and our scalp, which is called sebum. Um, so that's very beneficial. It adds shine to the hair. And the good thing is it's really rich. It's like 90 something odd percent monounsaturates um, which is basically oils that can very easily penetrate the actual hair shaft and the hair follicle and nourish as well. Um, I mean, I could spend all day going into um, these ingredients and how awesome they are. For example, honey, which you know um, is 
a very good humectant it actually attracts any moisture from the air it actually seals it into your hair aloe vera which you guys know that stimulates hair growth production that has got an amazing ph for sealing down cuticles sealing in moisture into your hair um, reduces dandruff and again one of those ingredients that actually stimulates hair growth where there might have been hair loss before or really slow hair growth rates so like i said i could spend ages going into the ingredients because they're all that good um i have to say i'm i kind of i'm starting with my favorite thing probably from the line here because when i did a twist out with this the moisture retention like no word of a lie i don't believe that i have used another um product that i've bought from a store which has actually helped to retain moisture in my hair during a twist out in the same way i used it and combined it with a little bit of castor oil just to the ends of my hair you can see here quite possibly i actually twisted the bottom of my hair using um using this almond gyre twisting butter and you can see quite good definition and really a lot of moisture retention as so I'm putting my um, fingers down the shafts of my hair you can actually feel like the benefits of the sheer butter and the aloe the cuticles feel really really smooth and the hair just retains moisture without feeling like weighed down or greasy which is one of the things I have to say I liked about um, both the twisting jai butter jai butter or jai butter and the coconut setting um, coconut water style setter they did give me a good amount of definition but my hair didn't feel like super like waxy or stiff or anything like that so i was quite happy uh, with that i have to say that this was more hydrating than the um coconut water style setter um and this was fantastic it really gave me great hold in fact both of them did um there were some times when i felt that the coconut water gave me better definition and there were some times when i felt that the almond jai gave me better definition uh, but i have to say that the almond jai always always gave me the most moisture and really in the winter that is what i'm after and this is definitely a product that i would be repurchasing it has to be in my arsenal it just has to be there's like no two ways about it so absolutely loved this and it smells so good too so twist outs will never be twist outs again for me without using this product now i've already mentioned this uh the coconut water um i actually feel like in it, when you put it in your fingers it's a bit of a lighter product but when you're actually running your finger along the product in the um in the actual tub it does feel like a a little bit more thick and and a little bit more of a heavy product as you would imagine it has like a really sweet it has a really sweet coconutty um sort of scent and again I, you, you can't sleep on these ingredients uh distilled water first ingredient then coconut oil of course castor seed oil um olive oil bilberry extract um sugarcane extract orange extract lemon extract um coconut fruit extract aloe extract um scent and love i, I really love the fact that she says that um so all i'm gonna say is so the ingredients are amazing of course um and like i say it gave really good um definition and a good amount of moisture both of them did but obviously you know i kind of i'm feeling this one more um but it gave really really good um um definition and i felt like the definition with my um with the coconut water style setter actually held for longer than the definition that i got from the um almond jaya butter so that is definitely a plus i mean the ingredients are great um and it's incredibly hydrating it goes really really well with the um leave-in which i'm gonna show you just quickly now the curl love moisture milk is the leave-in conditioner that i tried from the range it almost has like a banana it feels like 
there's like a banana-y kind of smell, banana-y, that's not even a word. It's like a banana kind of undertone to the scent of this. It contains avocado oil, bran oil, aloe leaf, castor oil, macadamia seed oil, green tea. It contains uh, rice milk, rose hip, slippery elm bark. I mean, really, really good ingredients, really good ingredients. Um, as you may know, avocado oil has vitamins a d e k vitamins b it really penetrates the hair it contains amino acids which nourish and strengthen the hair so you've got moisture and strength kind of being added at the same time which you kind of can't go wrong with that uh, and also uh, as far as rosehip oil rich in antioxidants um it's got omega-6 omega-9 and um vitamin c in abundance it's really really amazing and really really nourishing particularly for the scalp um i actually found let me see if i can find an area so this is an area here where i've actually um used it you can actually feel that the hair is coated i know some people um like the fact that they can feel some coating on the hair and that's definitely the case here you can actually feel the nourish nourishment that's in the hair also you can actually feel the benefit of the aloe vera as you're putting it through your hair because aloe vera as you know seals down the cuticles and smooths it and it just kind of gives that ease when you're detangling and it also prevents you from getting um, knots etc so i actually found this to be a very nourishing um leave-in now the deep conditioner, I really, really like this deep, deep conditioner. Um, sorry, I have just noticed um, that she is actually a vegan and I'm like doing a bit of a vegan challenge at the moment. So that's kind of got me excited. She is a vegan mother of five and um, she created Camille Rose Naturals in 2010. It says here, this mompreneur is dedicated to developing handmade hair, skin, and body care products for modern natural hair sophisticates who care about health, beauty, and total wellness. So you're not gonna find junk in this that's gonna make you ill like some of the you know products that you see. Like for example, if you go on the EWG website, there are so many products that you will buy for your hair and skin that actually contain carcinogens and loads of nasties and i'm really really glad that she's so health conscious how exciting i, I love that i just literally just spotted that far as the hair um the deep conditioner that i tried for the line this is called the algae renew deep conditioner and it says in the front that it contains cocoa and mango butter um it definitely has a it definitely has a um almost like vanilla mint kind of scent um and if i have a look at the ingredients i'm going to try and figure out where this um scent is coming from um it contains aloe vera juice it contains shea butter it contains coconut oil it contains um citral alcohol which is one of those fatty alcohols so it's not dehydrating at all it contains cocoa butter it contains um mango seed butter it contains cannabis hemp seed oil every time <laughs> um hemp is actually really good for you don't be sleeping on hemp um it contains manuka honey just stop just honestly stop manuka you guys know it's so it's so well known for its antibacterial properties and for its nourishment it has such amazing healing properties like you can buy manuka um manuka honey it's super expensive there's like different grades of strengths etc but it's so 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 good for you um and of course it hydrates the hair as well and then you've got your rose hip which has got your omega-3s your major omega-6 and 9 then you've got your grapeseed oil your primrose oil you've got green blue algae you've got biotin come on you've got biotin um vitamin e and you've got peppermint oil yeah that's where the scent is coming from and then she's added scent and love i'm sorry but just reading that ingredients list just gets me excited all over again um i have to say with this it's it's a little bit like i'm just gonna hold it upside down nothing comes out and most of the um deep conditioners i actually use are more of a runny consistency so i was kind of a little bit like Egh. 
I don't know, I wasn't a fan of the fact that it was that thick before I used the product. But when I used the product, I found that it actually coated my hair really quite nicely. Um, and it allowed me to detangle with ease. And I really felt like my hair was actually being nourished. I used it with oils and I used it without oils. Both times I actually felt that it was quite nourishing. And I just absolutely love the ingredients i mean the creativity to think to use green blue algae which is rich in vitamin b um and improves hair regrowth and stops shedding and breakage and deeply penetrates the hair i mean one of the things about green blue algae is it contains like 65 different um, minerals antioxidants um, vitamins B12, B1, um, and it also uh, contains loads of enzymes and loads of trace elements as well. And all of these are actually the size that can actually penetrate the hair, go into the hair shaft, and nourish it. One of the things about using plant based um, micronutrients is the ability of the micronutrients to actually get into your hair and just give it life literally from the inside out. It actually has the highest protein amount per gram of any food on the planet. Green blue algae actually has the highest amount of protein per gram of any food on the planet. It contains silicon, it contains biotin, and that's all I'm gonna say. So yeah, on the whole, I really did enjoy using this, this uh, conditioner, deep conditioner. It was really very nourishing. And you know, you can feel the goodness of the actual ingredients. Um, and when I come at you guys with these reviews, first of all, I try and come at you with reviews that I think are gonna be beneficial. Um, generally, if there is a product I don't like, I won't really speak about it. Um, but even then, I do try and come at you guys with the realness of any cons, etc., that I found. Um, and I guess the only con I could really come up with was the cost. Um, and okay, yes, it's going to be costly, but you know, the question is, are you willing to invest in good ingredients um, from clearly a person who is very conscious in her her ethic and the stuff that she's putting out are you willing to invest in um you know i mean green blue algae come on like i've never actually used another product with that in um it's handmade so you know <laughs> there's got to be some give you know my my thinking has been ever since i started my hair journey conditioners I use and I enjoy do tend to be more in, more expensive but you know th the choice is go and buy some alcohol laden mousse <laughs> from the, you know the pharmacy um, or use very basic oils which I find are great for sealing in moisture but don't actually add moisture um, or go out and get stuff that is like got quality ingredients that is going to be more pricey and at the end of the day you know you've got to make that decision for yourself but you know i've really have enjoyed using the line um and the items which i would recommend if you were going to try any items from the line um you know if you just want to kind of get your toes wet and just give give a couple of things a try first off i would highly recommend the almond jai twisting butter um and then the um deep conditioner which is the algil renew deep conditioner so if you're going to try any any um, products from the line I would recommend well I would recommend these two so I hope you found this video to be helpful I hope you found it useful um, please do comment below let me know if you've used any of these products and um, how you've actually found them if you've enjoyed them um, yeah let's have a conversation in the um, comment section below also guys be sure to follow me on instagram and twitter and snapchat i'm really getting into my snapchat at the moment i'd love to keep this conversation going keep the dialogue going with you guys i would really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe it would mean the world to me and also thumbs up this video if you found it to be helpful at all um yeah bye <laughs>